Welcome back to Math We Know. Solve this equation above a. a plus 1 times a plus 2 times a plus 3 times a plus 4 equals 1 20. Oh my god. A product of 4 terms. That's crazy. I have a trick. Please have a look at the constant. 1, 2, 3, 4 from each of the factors. Then, observe the constant and you can find out that 1 plus 4 is equal to 2 plus 3. 5 equals 5. So now, because the sum of these two constants is equal to the sum of these two constants, then I'm going to let them be together. a plus 1 times a plus 4, then times a plus 2 times a plus 3. The right hand side is still 120. So then, expand this term. It is a squared plus 5a plus 4. And here, it is a squared plus 2a plus 3a plus 5a. So now, you know why. I've let these two be together, and then these two. Because 1 plus 4, here 5. 2 plus 3, here 5. Why? Because therefore, it is helpful for the substitution. Look, here is 4, here is 6. So now we can substitute, we can let a squared plus 5a plus 5 be equal to t. A squared plus 5a plus 4 is a squared plus 5a plus 5 to minus 1. It is t minus 1. Here, the same way, it is only t plus 1. Just t minus 1 and t plus 1. Okay, the left hand side is the product of t minus 1 and t plus 1. Of course, binomial formula, t squared minus 1 squared is 1 equals 120. T squared is 121. We get T equals positive or negative 11. If T is 11, positive 11, then substitute it back. A squared plus 5A plus 5 equals 11. A squared plus 5a plus 5 minus 11 is minus 6 equals 0. So now, factorization. It is a minus 1 then times a plus 6 is 0. A1 is 1, a2 is negative 6. And the second case, if t is negative 11, we also get an equation. Of course, it is this. a squared plus 5a plus 5 is negative 11. And you can get a squared plus 5a plus 16 is 0. Then you can get that the delta is negative. That means this equation doesn't have any real solutions. No real solutions under this case. Okay, that means we only have two solutions. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Check out these two videos. Wonderful. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.